Assalamu alaikum. This is Ismail Haragin for you. Our today's class is class 7, English 1, unit 5 and lesson 1. Okay. Look at the board. Let's get started. Our today's topic is Begum Rokera. Okay. Do you know who is, who is she? I think all of you know about her. We have to know about her clearly. I have, I am reading from the passage. Back on Rome, Rome era, 1880-1932 was famous writer and a social worker. She was writer and social worker and she was living from 1880-1932 has a dialogue about her. Okay, she lived in undivided Bangla in the early 20th century. She believed that women should have the same rights and opportunities as men have in the society. What does she believe? She believed that women should have the same rights and opportunities as men have in the society. Okay. So she fought for their cause throughout her life. Okay. Bekho Rukia was born in a place called Pairabong. Place Pairabond, Rampur in 1880. Her father, Jobiruddin Muhammad Abu Ali Haider, someone was an educated landlord. Rukia was married to Khan Bahadur Shakwat Asar in 1880. Shakwat Hussain in 1896. She married to Khan Bahadur Shakwat Husani in 1896. Her husband was the deputy magistrate of, magistrate of Bangalore, now a district in the Indian state of Bihar. He was very cooperative and always encouraged Rokia to go on with her activities. Many upper class Muslims of Bangla at that time learned Arabic and Persian as medium of education and communication. But Rukia had great love for her mother tongue. She learned Bangla and English from her eldest brother Ibrahim. What did she learn? She learned Bangla and English because she learned her mother tongue and her mother tongue was Bangla. Okay? Here's point C and you have to choose the multiple choice. First word is Begum Rokia fought for. What does, what did she fought for? We have got this point from this passage. Uh, she fought for women's right. Haven't it? This was the point from, we have got from this passage. Oh, women's right. Number two, Rokia was born in, where did she born? She born in place. That is the answer, place, town, slum. But she born at place. Okay. Number four. Shakwat Husser workplace was. Why, why did Shakwat Shakwat Husser what? She was she worked as quite a bunch. Okay. Bagalpur is a district in where? Bagalpur is a district in Bihar. Okay, there is another point from D. Complete the following chart with information from the text. One is done for you. Uh, first one is occupation, born in, married in, family, language. We have also got this five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five points from this diagram here. And look at the board carefully and you should answer it in the comment section. Okay. Then number E. Answer these questions. First one is, what was Beckham Rukia's plea? What was Beckham Rukia's plea? We have already got this point from here. Women should have the same rights and opportunities as men have in the society. It was Beckham Rukia's plea. Okay. Number two. What did she fight for? Why did she fight for? She fought for, she fought for the women's rights, isn't it? Number three, 
what kind of family did she come from she come from landlord family here we have got this point and to number 4 why did many upper class muslims learn arabic and persian at that time at the time learn arabic and persian as medium of education and communication and to number 5 why did rukia learn bangla and english because she loved her mother tongue and at this time the bangladesh was ruled over in the england and it's for this region she learned bangla and english okay thank you that is all for today and you have your homework this homework is from the point d and point e and all of you have to write down the comment section okay thank you that's all for today